Hello my Meerkats, Karen here and I'm actually using the camera finally with the ring light which is amazing as you can tell. Um, in, my last, in my latest video I didn't have a chance to record how I got the piercing and how they even did it so the best way I can explain to you is my experience when I was in the chair. It sounds like I'm in jail though when I said the chair. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here with Nestor who is playing Minecraft. What's up? <laughs> so I explained if you can hear the music in the background then you know Minecraft. But yeah. <laughs> um, my experience, I was pretty much sitting in a chair. I was kind of like looking up like this. I was like, ugh. Like I was nervous and everything. As you saw my, you saw in the video, I had a mangarita. I did drink. I. I felt like I needed it. I know most places will tell you don't drink and stuff, but I didn't go in there drunk. I was just, and I was in a good place where I can, like I'll be okay and I know for a fact that I can do it. Cause I was just nervous. I thought I was gonna back out of it if I didn't drink. But um, besides that, <laughs> the pain, it reminded me of when I got my tongue pierced, to be honest, it, it did like a pinch for like a bit, but the pinch lasted longer than I thought. It just felt like a very long second compared to my tongue and my regular nose piercing. Um, pretty much the needle went from the right side to the left and when he put the, the half loop like when he put my piercing in, he put it in from the left to right so he can pull the needle from the same way he put it in. Like, instead of pulling it up all the way to down to the left, he pulled it back and he put it through like that and just like that. It was like, needle went through, loop inside the hole, then when he pulled it, it pulled the piercing with it and then the needle comes off and it's already through. Um, the little ball is like, I believe it's the right one. But yeah, it was the right one. Like, my nostril is kind of weird, so that's why it kind of doesn't look straight and stuff, but I'm okay with my deformed nose. Like, my nostril's not straight, Nestor. Mm -hmm. My nostril's not straight. Have you noticed, like, one side you see more of it than the other? Right, but I mean, that's perfectly fine. And that's how my nose is. Like, not everyone has a perfect nose. Just the best you can do is just contour it on the outside, but not the inside. Oh, yeah, I got a perfect nose. Shut up. <laughs> He has a perfect nose, apparently. <laughs> yeah. But, um... <laughs> after that, um, I had my eyes closed. I did not want to open them. I even told the, the piercer, I'm like, I don't want to open my eyes. I know they're going to water and tears are going to come down. Mm -hmm. And he started laughing. Because, <laughs> um... It's the same guy that did my, my regular nose and my tongue piercing. Oh. Like, I always went to that... I always went to the shop there for piercings. Um, the only time I got a tattoo there was actually the one behind my ear. The happy, sad face for um, bipolar depression tattoo. Um, but other than that, I'll go to piercings there every single time because I know they do such a good job. They tell you exactly like the items you need to take care of your piercings or your tattoos and stuff. Um, pretty much, like I said, overall the pain lasted for like a very long second. Um, it still slightly hurts because it's still healing because it's only been a few days. Like, today's Saturday, right? Mm-hmm. So, I got it on Tuesday night, so Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's barely been four days that I've, I've had it, and I didn't expect it. <laughs> it, like, like, how long have I been wanting this piercing? Uh, ever since I met you, you were talking about it. So, since 2011, then. I've always wanted it since 2011. I just never had the guts to do it until this year, and this year has been an adventure already. <laughs> um, other than that, like the only time I actually hurt my piercing on accident was when I was taking off my shirt, my shirt, and yeah. Uh, let me get back to it. Uh, sorry about that, you guys. Um, uh, pretty much new food was not knock was knocking on the door like non-stop and we had to stop recording for a bit cuz yeah um, pretty much 
the moment I opened my eyes, like, my eyes watered, like, tears came down my eyes, like, that's how bad it hurt. Because when I got my tongue piercing, only one eye teared, and when I got my nose pierced, only one eye teared, but this one made both my eyes mm -hmm. tear up. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> like, I knew it was gonna, I was gonna, like, have tears running down my eyes for a moment. But, oh, now I remember what I was talking about. Um, the shop, they're really good at what they do and everything. I trust them completely, like 100% with their tattoos and piercings. But for me, it's mostly piercings because I go to different tattoo shops for different tattoos because some people have different, like, they just have different um, ways of doing their tattoos. Or some that do old school, new school, traditional, um, cartoon, horror, fantasy, realistic, you know, the usual. But when it comes to piercings, I would go to this shop where I got mine. And pretty much a lot of people did ask, like, how was the pain and everything, since I couldn't record the experience, which sucks. Like, they told me, because I had my phone out. Because I didn't take the camera with me that day when I got it, as you guys saw on my video. It was actually through my phone. And I have an iPhone, so it kind of worked out. It's just, I wish they would have let me record. The guy's like, oh, sorry, no pictures or video can be doing like you guys can do that so that's why like you guys saw me already walking out like with the piercing on me so you're like oh whoa, whoa, whoa what happened and stuff well it's not my fault I followed the rules because if I disobeyed it they could have not given me the piercing and I really wanted the piercing so pretty much this is why I'm recording this video and pretty much like I can tell you the best thing I can do it's a very long second of a pinch and then like another little tiny half second pinch when they put the piercing in. And I actually had another friend of mine message me asking, did they use the gun or by hand? I'm like, by hand? The gun is like the most dangerous thing to use on any piercing, including ears. A lot of people think, oh, that it just goes real quick. It can, the gun can put it too tight and you wouldn't even know until it's too late. Um, that's why, like, I make sure, like, if I go to a place to get piercings or anything, they do it by hand, because I don't want them doing it by gun, because cause a gun, the piercing gun can actually jam, and you're screwed. <laughs> unless they take it off for you and everything, they can, but still, like, I wouldn't do it by gun unless they know exactly how to use the piercing gun. Um, pretty much... I think that's all I can say about my piercing for the septum. It was a very long second and everything. Um, the only thing, the only downside about this is the boogers. <laughs> You're laughing at that. Yep. It's true though. The boogers get stuck. I had the same issue when I got my nostril pierced, and I can feel the boogers like building up inside. I was like, ah. So, if you have nails, you're good. If not, get a Q-tip. <laughs> Like, I'm glad I have long, like, pretty long nails already. Like, they're not so long, but they're pretty long already for me. I'm not used to it, but it helps. <laughs> like, it does help. Like, you can probably see me right now. Like, I have to do that. You're seeing me. You see, it already moves, which I'm okay with. But when I try moving it back, it starts pinching right here because I know something's stuck on the other end. So I'm like, great. It's getting there. I'm all picking my nose at the camera. <laughs> um, but pretty much, they told me that the best way to take care of it is the same way you take care of your regular piercings, except for the tongue. That one's a complete different process of how to clean it. Um, just warm water and antibacterial soap. Clean it on both ends. Try not to inhale so much of the soap, though, because you do not want to be crying. <laughs> um, or poison. Or poisoned, yeah, especially antibacterial. Um, when it comes to the regular nose one, you guys have seen a video of me cleaning my piercings before, but this time I'm telling you, just telling you instead of showing you, or well, kind of showing, just pretend my finger is the Q-tip. You put it in warm water, got, get some, if not get some soapy water with the antibacterial, like just put some antibacterial soap in the, in the warm water, like in the bowl. Mix it around and use that because it will be soaked in already onto the Q-tips like cotton like swab thing and just clean it around move the piercing while you can when you do this one like if you have a hoop one it'd be perfect but if you have the stud you have to move it up and down 
because you have to wet the inside of it and when you move it down it goes through the piercing so you can clean the inside as well because your skin's pretty much recreating itself to heal but if you don't move it around your piercing will heal with the skin and it'll get stuck if you don't if you do move it then it's going to make a wall to where you can still move your piercing and your healing will heal around it did that make sense it'll hurt but i mean you have to keep fidgeting with it yeah you have to, as it heals yeah it will like it would hurt trust me i've had my nose piercing for over two years now got my tongue a little over a year ago it actually be no it's gonna be three years for my nose actually mm -hmm. it's gonna be two years this month for my tongue and i just barely got the septum um the septum is the same way, move it, like the guy told me to move it up and down like this, because it's moving it, but since my I'm getting used to it already to where I can move it side to side already, he said not to move it side to side for the first two days, I remember that, and he just said to move it up and down like that because it's moving it still, but you still need like warm water and antibacterial soap to get on both ends, it kind of like helps when it takes off like the crusty parts from this peeling that's coming out I guess and some of the boogers that get stuck in it um, same thing with the regular one their boogers got stuck in it um, the ears when you pierce them the first time and you're like oh my god you're like one of those kids that never got the ear pierced until finally you get it same thing antibacterial soap warm water cotton swab back and forth move it side to side um, but because I have them stretched I had to take them out clean those or leave them in soapy like warm water with antibacterial soap get a cotton swab same thing go around it like inside circles clean it off because it's dead skin that's building up on my ears but if you don't clean them from time to time it will stink and you need to clean them um i know this kind of going like already off topic about how i clean my piercings <laughs> mm -hmm. but it's pretty much the same thing like with the septum it just, it just hurt. <laughs> it does hurt when you clean it because it is the first few days. And septum, I think, is the one that takes the longest to heal from what I heard. Um, I, like, almost picked my nose right in front of him again. Because <laughs> it got, it is like, I want to sneeze so bad. It feels weird when I sneeze now. I'm, like, going everywhere right now with subjects and stuff. But you got to get used to it. I'm just like that. Um... Another person actually sent me a message on like wondering how I clean my tongue piercing. Mm. Um, that one is completely different from the rest of my piercings. The only way to clean that is other when you're brushing your teeth. Like, you know how you, there's like in some toothbrushes in the back of your toothbrush there's like a little scraper thing. You can use those to clean around it. Or you can do... Like, I'm going to show you exactly what I do. It's just demonstration, like not actually brushing my teeth. You get your you get your tongue bar, like the bar, and hold it between your teeth when you're pushing it out. And brush it like that. Like I got quiet for a moment because I was trying to show it. <laughs> but same thing with the bottom. Same thing. And do the same thing like that. Um, another way to clean it and just moving it yourself up and down with like the roof of your mouth or the bottom of your mouth, like with your tongue you need mouthwash it can be any type of mouthwash that's on you it's just you know mouthwashes they're strong but you do the same thing you you like pretty much move it around your mouth and everything for like the 30 seconds or something like i don't know how long you guys do i do it for 30 seconds because i can't never have it that long in my mouth but yeah pretty much that's how you clean well that's how i clean my tongue piercing i i don't know how else i would clean it other than the toothbrush as well but Back to the septum, because I know this started with the septum, and now I'm off to all my other piercings. I get distracted as you just see, don't, don't I? <laughs> yep. Very easily. <laughs> um, other than that, it's just... It, it hurt. Um, I know a lot of people, like, one of my coworkers already asked me, like, like, if she should get a septum and stuff. And I told her, like, she asked me because she knew I just barely got it. And there's, like, other people that I've had it for years, and they just tell her, oh, it doesn't hurt. But for me, like, I'm going to tell her straight out the truth. It fucking hurt. <laughs> Excuse my language, but it hurt. <laughs> like, I told her, it's going to hurt for a few, like, for a long second, and then, like, a very short second after. 
and pretty much I told her like cleaning wise like like she thought she ju she would just get it and she doesn't have to clean it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, okay, um, no. <laughs> uh, pretty much, there's a lot of cleaning with it. Septum is the longest one to heal. From what I heard, it's up to six, almost to eight weeks. So it's almost a two month process. Uh, my nose one healed within a month. My tongue healed within six weeks. So two and a half, like one and a half months. My ears, that one is an ongoing process to where like these are these like I kept telling myself I wouldn't stretch them anymore I wouldn't stretch them anymore and I am 60 millimeters already five eighths if you guys want to know what the fraction is um, and you guys saw my other like in one of my videos I actually did stretch my ears right in front of you guys and as far as I know I'm okay with these now like before I thought a zero would have been fine or a two would have been fine but now I'm, like huge enough where my pinky and my pinky is pretty skinny like my fingers are skinny this can fit inside my ear already <laughs> but overall just this kind of just an educational way of telling you how to take care of your piercings and how the pain is um if you're gonna get a septum go ahead i just hit my septum on accident <laughs> but it didn't hurt surprisingly um you can get it, go ahead, as long as you can take care of it. My parents, surprisingly, I guess they always thought, my parents thought I actually, thought I already had it. I think that's why my parents didn't say anything, like, because my dad was talking to me normally, my mom was talking to me normally, they are like, because I would wear the fake ones, the fox ones for a while. Faux. Faux? Is, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I, I bet you someone's going to, like, correct me on the comments if they put it, but... Is it pronounced faux? Yep. Okay. Faux septum piercings. <laughs> Sounds weird. Yeah, it is. Saying that. It's called faux. Okay. But the fake ones, like, the ones that are, like, not fully, like, they're not closed. Or not, like, the one I have on. Um, pretty much, I would wear it, and my mom knew I was wearing the fake ones, so I'm, like, surprised that she thought I already had it. Mm -hmm. But they haven't said anything to me. Um... The only person that actually said something was my cousin. My brother hasn't seen it. So I'm like wondering what my brother's thinking, but I think his wife already saw it, but I don't think she cares. <laughs> like she's happy for who I am. Like she she's glad that she knows like that I know who I am and everything. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna tell you this now, if your parents are like if you're gonna get a piercing, get something that's not so exaggerating and everything, a symptom Start a, small. Huh? Start small. Start yeah, start small. Like the I guess the best way would be just an ear piercing, huh? Mm -hmm. After that, it'd be the regular nose. Um, anything after that would be the tongue because it can hide it. But it's just, as you can tell with my voice, like, I tend to slightly stutter and, well, not stutter, like, stammer on my words. And some people can not understand what I'm saying. So that's why I'm like, that's why my voice is a bit higher or, like, more. Enunciate. Like, enunciate. I have to enunciate a lot more because of it. Um, another exaggerating piercing, lips, um, eyebrow, I know that for a fact, um, Medusa, Maryland, um, dimples and dermals, trust me, those are exaggerating already, like, the best ones not to exaggerate as much will be your regular nostril, your tongue, because you don't even see it, it's just the pronunciation of talking, will be the only thing extreme about it, and the ears. Um, another piercing that's not exaggerated will be the belly button piercing, but that's something I won't get because I've had it before and I don't have it anymore. Um, but other than that, it's just, if you're going to go for the septum, like I said earlier, it does hurt. And for me, I've wanted it for years. I've, like, we're already in 2017. I've been wanting it for over six, like, it's been six years already mm -hmm. that I've been wanting to get the septum. And... Another question someone asked me is like, why did I even get it? Honestly, I I can't really give you a straight answer for that one. I just know I really like the style. It kind of like just makes me look a bit more different, but in a good way. Like, how, how, how can I explain? It goes with your style. It goes with your character. Like, how does it go with my character? Mm, that's kind of hard to explain. Easy. 
<laughs> like it's hard it's hard to explain how it goes with my character but Nestor's right it does go with my character it's just like I guess personality wise mm -hmm. like but my personality is very weird maybe that's why it goes with my weirdness I guess I guess that's the best way um some people that watch my videos if you guys know me so well like put down in the comments if you can or send me a message on Instagram because I know you guys have me on Instagram too if you can like let me know how my septum piercing goes with me. Like, Nestor says it goes with my character slash personality, but how? Like, see if you guys can answer that. It'd be a challenge. And, like, pretty much in the next video, like, whoever comments and stuff, like, I'll, I'll, whoever comments and everything, and I, if I get comments, then I'll put it on the next video before I start my actual subject for the next video. But, um... I'll just start putting it there for you guys and I'll be like reading them out loud for you and pretty much, yeah. Other than that, it's just, if you want to go for it, go for it. It's going to hurt like hell for a few days. Just be careful when you take or put on your shirt because trust me, it will, like, you have to make sure it goes over your face and not touch your nose because it's going to hurt. I learned that the hard way with both my nose piercings. <laughs> um, let's see. Other than that, because if you notice, I do have my makeup on, but I didn't put foundation near my septum because that can get it and that can actually infect it. So that's why my foundation kind of stopped like to here and it didn't even continue here. It kind of went around it, but I made sure it still looked natural. So that's the best way I can do it. But other than that, until next time, bye guys. Yeah, build a house. <laughs> what? Build a house. He built a house.